and this is a Get Bash tutorial. So if you are a beginner, this is really aimed towards you, so you can start learning the command line better. And so you want to see which version of Git you are running. So we're going to type git dash dash version, and it'll show you which version you are running. You also want to check which pathway you're on. Print working directory, and it will show you that we're on the C drive, users, and Nicole. And if you want to see what's in the contents, you can do ls for list, right? And if you want to see a little bit more, you can do ls.l. It shows, I think it shows all the files within every little bit of it, maybe. And then you can do ls.al. And since we have a lot of stuff on the screen, we are going to type clear and it will clear it. So you're going to do pwd and we are going to move into the desktop. And so since I want to move into the desktop, I'm going to do cd desktop. But again, I'm just going to do ls. And here's a trick. So if you have a long directory name, you can right click, copy, right click, paste. Because you cannot do control C, control V. So we're going to do cd, change directory, right click, paste. And we are on the desktop. And so we are going to make a directory and we are going to do get practice, right? But here's also a trick too. So if you have a file that shares like the same name, cd get hit tab twice, it will show you the other files you have with similar names. You know, get practice one, get practice two. So that was just for an example. Make directory. We're just going to do get practice. But it's a really helpful tip. So we're going to do make get practice. And we are going to move into that CD. And you can hit GIT. Hit tab twice. It'll show you all things with get practice. So we're going to do just the generic one get practice. And so we've moved into that directory and you can again hit PWD for print working directory and see where you are at. So now that we're in get practice, we're going to initialize it because we want the version control system to see the to monitor the files. So we're going to do git init, initialize empty git repository, right? LS, um, yeah. So we're going to make some files. Touch index.html, touch scripts.js, touch styles.css. And then we're going to list everything. Index scripts styles. Oh, we should also check the status of the repository. So we can do git status. And you'll see that it was initialized because you will see the word master. Master. It, it's the master branch. So you will see that there are untracked files. And so we are going to also add another file. We are going to make a text file. And we are going to do echo quotes practicing git arrow file dot text hit enter we also need to put a message with this do we all right, so we are going to open this up. Exp, L-O-R-E-R, -E 
and it will open up this file explorer, the one that you probably use a lot. So we're going to go into desktop and we're going to go into the original Git practice and you will see that the file is here that we just created. You know, echo practicing Git file text. And when we open up the file, you will see that there is the words practicing Git right here. So we can, let's do git status again. And again, if this gets cluttered, you can hit clear, clear. So we can do ls. Let's do git status on branch master. No commits yet. So we're going to commit the files. And we're going to do git add file text. We're just going to focus on this one, you know, um, and then you're going to send a message with this. So git commit m adding my first file. And it will show you that it was committed. And then you can do git status again. And you will see the other files that are not committed. And we can clear again because it gets cluttered.